surface of his neck and in the inguinal region so and and all uh, on palpation detect the saw it is a soft painless mobile which is a cervical and inguinal node up to the 2 cm in the diameter up to the 2 cm in the diameter liver is enlarged 2 cm from the edge of the costal margin a splenic pole at the umbilical level so it is also enlarged rbc is given and uh, uh, like R, uh, yeah, rbc hemoglobin wbc band neutrophils segmented neutrophil lymphocytes and this is here one more important thing bone pet shadow is positive okay so uh, one liner comes here and if you remember the only only the keyword which i have told you in the in my uh, lecture that bone pet shadow is present so it is always chronic lympho uh, lymphoid leukemia okay so uh, now just uh, leaving uh, just keyword and uh, let's talk about the concept here when we go through the one by one concept then how we, what you can get so it is a 58 year old man okay so uh, there should be the most common factor which, uh, which uh, include this disease and when you go for the blood analysis perifer uh, peripheral blood analysis only here you can see that erythrocyte is 3.5 to 10 to the power 12 and what is the normal range normal range between 4 to 6 so it is less so it is a, i mean it is a lesser in number with rbcs and the hemoglobin what is the normal hemoglobin hemoglobin should be the between 138 to 172 172 okay so i think for better understanding i should write down here separately uh, the range here which you should remember for the next qu and different questions as well when it is in crop rbc or erythrocyte erythrocytes so normal range you should remember it is 4.3 to 5.9 into 10 to the power 12 per liter that same in case of hb hemoglobin it should be 138 to 172 gram per liter and the next one color index color index can be 0 0.9 to 1.1 for the normal and the next one is here reticulocyte when reticulocytes are given reticulocytes so reticulocytes can be 0 0.5 to 1.5 1.5 percentage so, and then here is our most important thing wbc as you know that uh, white blood cells is composed of two type of cells one is a granular and another one is granular in the granular one there is basophils eosinophils and neutrophils in case of a granulars we have the lymphocytes and we have the monocytes so what are the normal percentage of the lymphocyte the lymphocyte should be between 25 to 33 percent or you can say one fourth of the wbc and the next one what are the monocyte percentage monocytes can be the three to seven percent similarly basocytes or basophils it is almost zero to one percent and eosinophils it should be one to three percent and neutrophils neutrophils here the mature one it should be between 54 to 62 percent so uh, this these are the markers which you should remember and uh, except and uh, after that there is next factor here is platelet Platelet. So platelet range uh, uh, stands from 150 to 400 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. Okay, so uh, this information is uh, like uh, sufficient for you. And we have one more thing I think is there. This is ESR. ESR erythro erythrocyte sedimentation rate. It is between 0 to 15 mm per hour is a normal. Okay, now I'm coming back to my, uh, to the question so uh, here you can easily uh, in now you if you correlate this so you can tell very easily that uh, rbc is down hv is down leukocyte is extremely extremely high band neutrophils normal segmented neutrophils normal lymphocytes are extremely high eosinophils normal and esr is also normal grumpet shadow present what is the most uh, likely uh, diagnosis actually grumpet shadow is the like crust one WBCs. They when when you go uh, go and look at the microscope, so it looks like this way. So uh, here, Grumpet should present. Out of which, now uh, let's go for one by one. Uh, this is the definitely definite condition where RBC, WBC, uh, sorry, where uh, RBC, hemoglobin, they both are decreased. So this is a definite condition where it go for the anemia. Okay, where RBC is, is decreased. So what you can say, one thing you can make here. 
one thing uh, you can make here as a uh, like a, as a con as a conceptual point of view as a conceptual point of view that is leukemia when we talk about leukemia leukemia itself is an unregulated growth of the differentiation of uh, wbc in the bone marrow so uh, bone marrow issue is the prominent and because of bone marrow is affected there is a bone marrow failure and after bone marrow failure there is a decrease in rbc which you can say anemia and also there is increase in circulating wbc which is leukemia now okay going through uh, this one now the next most important factor you should remember that in the leukemia when we talk about the leukemia there is a two broad classification one is lymphoid one another one is myeloid one how to identify them actually in the question given peripheral uh, blood smear you can see the myeloid cells are present so you can say it is myeloid leukemia or uh, when uh, when uh, rbc is down and uh, wbc is high so uh, the, if there is uh, myeloid cells present you can easily go for the myeloid basis uh, or if there is only uh, lymphocytes present so you can go for the lymphoid in our case lymphocyte is high so we have to just look at the lymphocyte one so in case of lymphocyte next column is here acute and chronic acute and chronic the defining feature for the acute and chronic in the uh, first of all you have to remember just one thing here it is most common in children acute one and the chronic one most common in adult and old age this is the first keyword and the second thing here grumpet shadow is present so uh, now when we talk about the grumpet shadow so in the croc we have the word grumpet grumpet shadow but you, if you study for different uh, type of uh, other examinations including us assembly so there the term will come smudge cell a smudge cell is a like it is a it is a uh, chronic lympho uh, like uh, uh, leukemian cells so they are the smudge so it is a raptured one so basically they are the raptured raptured during the uh, uh, like a preparation a smear preparation so when we see so it has been demonstrated that there is a raptured cells present like broken one okay so they uh, they express the there is a reduced expression of the cytoskeleton protein and that is a vimentin and it inverts the correlation with the clinical outcome of the disease so uh, here we are now nearby our our answer grumper shadow again itself it is a, enough to see it is a, a chronic lymphoid why not acute leukemia acute leukemia because there is a uh, the, like there is a there is a chronic symptom how tumor like formation 2 cm it is large in number so it is not a acute it's a chronic one so you have to just cancel acute lymphocyte leukemoid reaction lymphocytic leukemoid reaction itself when there should not be the uh, leukemia sign and chronic why myelin not not because cells are not present and uh, like there is no myelin environment uh, myeloid environment lymphogranulomatosis itself is a different type of uh, uh, blood disease blood disorder where uh, there is a granular formation take place in the histopathological examination okay so this is your next question and uh, now uh, now we will move to the uh, third question